Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your great response to last week's video about making the Indonesian fried chicken. All of your comments were really, really nice and I just really appreciated reading them all. And some of you even wrote me that you had made it yourself. So that's really awesome. All your tips too um, are very, very helpful. So today in this video, we are going to be making Indonesian spicy tempeh. Okay, so you might be wondering what in the world is tempeh? Well, this is tempeh right here. And tempeh is a soybean product that's been fermented. So basically, it's soybeans and they grow mold. <laughs> basically, it's that. And so in Indonesia, it comes like this. You can get it in like a cake type form with a banana leaf. Um, another style is this that's really thin, also wrapped in banana leaf. And inside this packet, there's actually two very thin sheets of tempeh and in the middle they're divided by another banana leaf. So these are for what's called tempeh mendoan. People use these really thin ones. There's also another kind that is very similar to this one, but it's in plastic. So there's just a variety of tempeh that you can get in Indonesia. Um, in America, anyways, I know that you can find tempeh in like organic stores, health food stores. I've even seen it in just regular grocery stores. If your grocery store has it, it'll be located next to the tofu because it is very, very similar to tofu, except that it is um, has the beans all together still, and then the mold grows around the bean. So for this recipe, the Indonesian spicy tempeh, we're gonna be using this one. This recipe also includes an ingredient that I've never used before, and this ingredient is called air asam, which comes from the asam, the bua asam. And this is what it looks like. The skin has actually already been removed. So let me, I just bought this at the grocery store like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it and show you what it looks like. This is a bunch of the fruit all wrapped. So you can see, yeah, it has kind of a funny smell. Okay, so this is what the fruit looks like up close. And let me go ahead and take out a little bit and show you. This actually, asam in Indonesian means sour. So let's look in, oh, it's very sticky. It doesn't really smell sour, but that's what it looks like, little pods. And I've asked friends and I've looked at tutorials on YouTube and different blogs about it. And so today we're going to attempt to use this in our recipe. But honestly, if you don't have this, like if you're in America and you cannot find bua asam um, to make ayar asam, don't worry about it. You can still create this spicy tempeh recipe without this part. So let's go ahead and get this this fruit ready for our recipe. All right, we're gonna use this much of our fruit and then we're just gonna add a couple tablespoons of water like that. And then we'll press it around a little bit, kind of to let it soak. You can, I can see the water changing colors, so hopefully that's the right thing to do. All right, the colors have definitely changed. You can see it's brown. And so now we're going to just strain the fruit and hopefully we will get our water that comes out the bottom of the juice out, I guess, is what's happening here. Go ahead and add some more. And we'll keep pressing to get water okay guys this is what it looks like after we've pressed it all and the recipe doesn't call for much so you actually only need a tiny bit but like I said if you don't have it don't worry about it make this recipe anyways and it's gonna be delicious without this um, you guys that know how to use bua asam please tell me if I've done it correctly please give me tips um, below in the comments so that I know how to use bua asam. How to make 
Ayer Asam from Bua Asam. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna use it like this in our recipe. Now this recipe doesn't call for many ingredients. It's very simple. So we already have our Ayer Asam here. We're also gonna have our tempeh, a little bit of sugar, salt, and then we also have our um, shallots, our garlic, and the key ingredient for this recipe besides the tempeh are the red peppers. You wanna get some good red peppers, guys. All of our ingredients are ready. We've got our tempeh cut up, our peppers, the stems are cut off, the garlic is ready, and also our shallots are cut. The next step is to take a couple of our garlic cloves. Mine are small, so I'm gonna take three, and a little bit of salt, and I'm going to mash that all together. And then we're gonna let our tempeh soak in that for about five minutes. And you guys remember that the recipe and all the ingredients that you need are in the description of this video so that you can make it at home. And as always, it, the recipe is in Indonesian and in English. So you guys go give it a try. Today, like usual, I'm using a mortar and a pestle, but you don't have to use what you have at home. You could even just use your sharp knife and get it really, really fine. So use what you have. All right, we'll put our garlic in here. We'll add our water. Mix that around really good. Okay, and then we'll just take our tempeh and smother it in the garlic and salt garlic, salt, and water mixture. Just coat it really good. And then we're gonna let this set um, aside for about five minutes. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and get our other ingredients ready. So we've got salt, garlic, and all of our spicy peppers. And you just add as much as you would, as much, as many, or as little peppers as you like. I'm making this for Marty, so he likes it spicy. All right, you guys, this looks really good and super, super spicy. I think Marty's gonna really like that. Tempeh is a really good source of protein, so you guys should really give this a try if you never have eaten it before. We absolutely love eating tempeh, so it's really, really delicious. Seth just reminded me one way to make sure that the seasonings get into your tempeh is to just mark your tempeh. Just do a couple marks and then you can soak it. So that will help the um, garlic and the salt to get inside your tempeh. Good tip from Seth. We're going to fry our tempeh until golden brown. Let's set our tempeh aside and now we're going to saute our shallots. After the shallots are sauteed, then we're going to add all of our peppers and mix that up really good until you can smell it really, really well. Then we'll add our sugar, just a little bit of sugar, and the ayer asam that we made earlier. Mix that all up really well together. Now we're going to put all of our tempeh pieces into the sambal, into the hot sauce, and then mix it around. Mix it up real good. Okay, you guys, this is how it turned out. I am coughing, and as soon as Marty came in the room, yeah. he was coughing too. It was pretty strong in there. This, we use what, like 12 peppers for this one? And yeah, it's making me cough a yeah. lot. <laughs> I can like, it's like going into my nose and my throat. <laughs> yeah, 
So this is how it turned out. You guys could cut the pieces of tempeh however big or however small that you would like them. That's just what I chose to do today. So cool. Marty is going to tell us it, how it tastes. I'm not a real big fan of spicy stuff, so Marty is going to have to tell you if he likes it or not. All right, here we go. Let's see, we'll take this guy. Oh, they're still hot too. Get a lot of sambal on there like that. All right, ready? Yeah. <coughs> still making mm. me cough and I'm not even eating it. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy at all? I think you could eat it. <laughs> you think I could eat it? Probably. Wow. Okay, I'll try, but I'll try not very much mini peppers. Hmm. It's good, huh? Mm-hmm. That's good flavor. I don't know what you did to it because I didn't watch you cook it, but whatever you did made it good. My mouth hurts. <laughs> it's spicy for me. I'll just take a little of this. He's crazy. Ooh. I don't know how you can do that. My throat is like hurting. No? Really? Yeah. Mine, I'm just not even barely burning at all. Wow. I'm just strong. Yeah. <laughs> He's built up his tolerance to peppers. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> All right, there you go guys. This is the recipe for this week, spicy Indonesian tempeh. I hope you guys will try it and leave your comments below if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and please share this video with your friends. <laughs> Marty's still coughing. <laughs> Thanks guys, hope you have a great day and keep smiling.